Unit 7, Editing, Content and Structure Editing. It is an essential part of refining your own work. Your purpose and audience will influence the types of editing you will use. Transactional writing is in the blue, and personal imaginative writing is in the green. Transactional writing. This requires that you develop a logical structure that clearly develops your analysis of the information or argument. Editing involves rewriting parts of your essay. It may also involve changing the form of your work to improve its impact. Changing from an essay to, say, a speech or a newspaper article is specific to a task. You should also ensure that if you change, that you support your point of view with suitable evidence. Personal or imaginative writing. This involves using structures that reflect a wider range of purposes and audiences than transactional writing. Content may be personal in nature, yet still editorial decisions to be made about form, structure and vocabulary. Editing is a much more complex process than simply proofreading. Proofreading deals with matters such as spelling, formatting and punctuation. Here are some important points to remember when editing. Never be afraid to make the changes that will make an essay have a greater influence, even if it involves more work. Good planning and editing are essential to success in essay writing. Here is an example that I took from an essay I wrote on the movie The Matrix. It reads, Neo chooses the red pill and is taken out from the Matrix, so he enters the real world. Neo is shown the Matrix and is told what it is. The Matrix is everywhere, all around us. It is the wall that has been pulled over your eyes to blind you from the truth. The truth that you are a slave, Neo. Now it is your job to find the mistakes that I have made in this example. Some are easy and some are not. Here is the exact same passage, but in the first one, where I have highlighted all the mistakes that I have made. So first off, we have Neo. That should be capitalised as a person. Then we have in the green text, taken out. Now if you look into the matrix, you find out the words taken out are being replaced by a more descriptive word, unplugged. We use this to add more description to the writing, as well as um, expand the reader's imagination. The next is in book grammatical error, where we have to put a full stop after the matrix, as a new sentence starts with he. The next error that I have made is that I did not finish the quotation with quotation marks. It's pretty important if you're explaining the quotation after, as some people think that your quotation is expanding for your explanation. Thank you for watching my tutorial on editing, content and structure.